another committee that's been set up by ALEC, uh, and it deals with the uh, private prison industry. Mr. Speaker, the United States imprisons more than any other nation in the world. We currently uh, uh, incarcerate approximately 2.3 million people. America's high incarceration rate is not fitting for a nation which is routinely touted as the greatest in the world. Although high incarceration rates hurt the United States as a whole, it definitely benefits the pr prison industry. In 2010, the two largest private prison companies, CCA and the GEO Group, received nearly $3 billion in revenue. That's taxpayer money. The for-profit prison industry is driven by the corporate members of the uh, uh, American Legislative Exchange Council, ALEC. ALEC is a secretive organization that has advocated for harsh sentencing and detention laws that lead to mass incarceration. It provides state legislators with model legislation, and each year, ALEC members introduce these bills in state houses across the country. This gives unparalleled access and authority to ALEC's corporate and legislative members, undermining the will, of the, the will of the people and the power of the ballot box. Private prisons have vested interests in maintaining and maximizing their profits. They are not concerned about public safety or rehabilitation or reducing recidivism. Those principles directly conflict with their bottom line and mantra, which is more prisoners and more money. Mr. Speaker, uh, I will again be back uh, to uh, continue to discuss this issue. Uh, I discussed it yesterday. Uh, today is another day. I think the American people need to know what's going on in the politics of America. And uh, if we don't do something, we are all at risk for losing the rights that we as citizens are, are supposed to possess government of, by, and for the people, not for a special interest. And I yield back the balance of my time.